Hello my dear students, welcome back to Vasavi virtual program. This is Satish Kumar, faculty of chemistry. My dear students, today we are going to discuss one important topic from physical and chemical changes lesson. The topic is burning of a candle is physical or chemical change. To understand this point, my dear students, I am going to show you very important picture that is burning of candle. So here, if you observe the candle, the candle is made up with a soft solid that is called paraffin wax. Paraffin wax. So which is made up with the carbon and hydrogen. So you can call hydrocarbon also. Paraffin wax is nothing but hydrocarbon. So if you take the formula, the paraffin wax for formula is C20H42. So carbon and hydrogen, both are there in the paraffin wax. So when you observe the candle structure, so you will get soft solid at the same time, middle of the soft solid, you will get a wick. So when you lighten the wick, automatically the candle will burn. So my dear students, when a candle burn, the solid wax convert into a liquid wax on heating on heating the solid wax is converting into liquid wax as well as when this liquid wax cool down uh, you will get again solid wax so here you are you are observing that solid wax is converting into liquid on heating and the liquid wax is converting into solid on cooling so here you are getting a reversible process so reversible process is nothing but that is present in physical change. In the physical change, what will happen? Only the state of the matter can change. State of the matter can change, but the formula cannot. So you can observe here, my dear children, the solid is converting into liquid on heating. The solid wax is converting into liquid wax on heating. It means the physical state is changing. The solid physical state is changing into liquid physical state. But the formula is not changing when you lighten the candle, when you burn the candle. So that is why lightening a candle or burning of a candle, first of all, very good example for physical change. And as well as, my dear students, I told you, the candle is made up with the soft solid and along with that you will get a wick in middle of the soft solid wax. So I have given the paraffin wax formula that is C20H42. So when you lighten the wick which is present in the candle, so automatically the wick is going to burn and gives you carbon dioxide and as well as steam nothing but water vapor so here you can understand very clearly my dear children c20h42 nothing but paraffin wax so on heating so when you lighten the candle the wick burn and the c20h42 paraffin wax converting into carbon dioxide and water vapor so here you are understanding that the formula of the matter is changing C20H42 formula is changing into CO2 and as well as H2O. So, we can observe the formula change only in chemical change process. So, that is why my dear children, burning of a candle is good example for physical change and as well as chemical change. So, both processes are there. Why burning of a candle is example for physical change? Because when you lighten the candle, the solid wax of candle turning into liquid wax. So when you cool down the liquid wax, again it turning into solid. Only the physical state of the candle is changing in this process, but the formula is not changing. That is why burning of a candle is good example for physical change. So in the physical change, only state of the matter can change, formula never change. And at the same time, when the candle is burning, 
so the wick also lightening the wick also burning in the candle so automatically the candle is made up with paraffin wax nothing but c20 h42 is the formula for paraffin wax so on lightening or on burning of candle the c20 h42 formula is converting into co2 and h2o so in this process the formula is changing so that's why burning of a candle is good example for chemical change also my dear students here you can observe one more point when you light in the candle when you burn the candle heat energy also liberates outside so that is why burning of a candle is good example for exothermic change so exo meaning is outside thermic means heat energy so heat energy is liberating outside when a candle is burning so that is why my dear students burning of a candle is good example for physical change and as well as chemical change and finally exothermic change also i hope you got my point thank you my dear children